today I'm going to show you how to make this easy chow mein recipe. If you have a few tins of mackerel lying up in your cupboard and you need something quick and easy, this one's for you. Okay, my name is Jean and this is Tasting Flavours. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell for more videos. So I have already boiled some spaghetti and I'm just rinsing this out with some cold water just to get rid of all the starch. I'm going to add this to the rest of the ingredients at the end. I'm making sure that the oil is evenly in my pot. I'm adding some garlic and I'm going to let that simmer for that lovely garlic aroma. Okay, I'm just stirring that up. Now I'm going in with some onions. I'm going in with some leeks and I'm just stirring that up. Leeks are amazing, I love them so much. And some spring onions, a bit of chili. Um, they're very mild, but you can leave it out if you like. And I'm just stirring that up as well. I'm adding some peppers now. Okay, so I'm now going in with the mackerel and this is about two tins of mackerel and I'm letting all those flavours get into that fish. Okay, I'm adding some salt. I know this looks like a lot guys, but it's not for me, but if you prefer, you can put less. I'm going in with some black pepper, some mixed herbs and a little bit of chilli powder and I'm just giving that a stir. I'm now adding some sweet corn. I love sweet corn in my dishes. It just gives it that oomph guys. Mm. Okay, I've added some um, frozen bro broccoli. You can add in um, fresh ones if you like. Okay, I'm popping the lid on and letting that simmer for a few minutes. Okay, now I've added the spaghetti and I'm just going to toss that up. Okay, I'm going in with some soy sauce just to give it a bit more flavour and then I'm tossing that up. So I've added some red onions and there you go, voila! Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check the description box for the ingredients. Okay, I'll see you on the next one.